Hi everybody. I am, I actually created a live this morning and then I went in and deleted it. <laughs> First time I've ever deleted any videos I've made, but I just really didn't like it. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it right there. It was kind of a hot mess. So I thank those of you that joined me. It was so exciting to see people um, from Africa and the UK and I think it was Minnesota or Missouri and lots of Florida people. So much fun, you guys. Thank you so much. And I can't tell you how much I love our little community we have here. It's so supportive and kind and you all are so grateful and I'm just, I've only been on YouTube for a few months and I just love all of you guys. So thank you so much. Um, so today I'm going to be sharing with you how to create this cute little dragonfly. Years ago, I started um, my boutique line with dragonflies and this is exactly what it looked like. These were the colors, this is everything, it was exact. I had these little um, sprinkles, so this really brings back a lot of memories for me and I was excited to share with you. We'll be creating this today. This is the little kit you would get if you purchase my um, prep work. I always do prep work for each tutorial and it's nothing fancy. I only do one of them and I just kind of list my colors. I create a sheet with the brush strokes so this one in particularly is going to be kind of fun. We'll be using the side of our brush and I'm using my um, Degato again and creating these little wings. And then for the body, there's two options. You could do a straight line and dab in colors or you could actually dab in for the segments on the body. And then the little legs. Uh, I use a, a uh, brush, a very fine tip brush with light strokes, but I know for even me sometimes my hand can kind of shake or I can't get a nice straight line and you are perfectly fine just going in after and drawing in with a pen, a waterproof pen. That's what we will be doing right now. Your supplies you will need. And by the way, actually, this comes with the tutorial as well. So it gives you some of the options and some info. So this will all be on there along with this beautiful little uh, envelope that you can gift, actually, if you like. This is another version. This is the version I did for my first ever boutique card I designed. I did this washi background. If that's something that interests you, I can do another one for you like this. Let me know and I'll, I'll video that as well. Okay, what I wanted to do first is the supplies we're using, as I said, was uh, our My Degato. It's a round brush. This is a number six. I use my Princeton brushes all the time, and you can certainly use those, a six or an eight. And I've got my two containers of water, one to wash, one to rinse. And then my fun little palette here, you all ask me about all the time, which was a custom made palette for me. And the colors I'm going to be using today are this turquoisey color. Um, that's not the one we're painting. I don't want to confuse you. The turquoisey color, all Windsor Newton, uh, violet purple, Prussian blue for the center of his body, cad yellow, and some sap and olive green. Now, a lot of times what I'll end up doing is not using the green because I will just use this turquoisey, beautiful turquoisey color and add cad yellow to it. And it comes up with this really beautiful, uh, unique color of green. Nothing that is coming out of a tube. And I, I quite like that. What I wanna do first is just show you how I kind of line up my drawing 
and I'm just noticing my favorite little black wing pearl wing pencil is not sharpened, so I won't use that. Um, we will use just a regular drawing pencil. I wanted to give you an idea though of um, kind of the shape of these dragonflies and what how I create them. It's a little similar, I think, to my flowers as far as how to place the wings. Let's go ahead and grab your supplies and you can come back to this and practice sketching first. If you are lucky enough to get the one tutorial, you can kind of go through all these pieces and um, study it a bit. So let's start with that body of the um, dragonfly. I'm going to make it a little bit curved here. And I had somebody too, I just am thinking, ask me about my pencil lines. Now, a lot of my flowers, I don't really draw them out first. I just using brush strokes. When I do draw my uh, flowers or things like this, because I want you to see, see how I'm getting the shape of these, sometimes you can erase them depending on what, which paint, you know, any paints that are prefaced with the word cad, cad yellow, cad red, cad blue. Those have a little bit more of an op opaque um, effect and they're a little bit harder to erase, but many times you can erase your pencil lines from your watercolors. <clears throat> so here is kind of my body of the dragonfly. And then I'm going to make the head here. Now I kind of like whimsy, so I will add two cute little eyes there. And then the body, kind of like that. Hopefully you can see this. And then I'm going to do the wings here. And you know, honestly, uh, you see all kinds of shapes. Do the shape that kind of calls to you. Some people might like more of a butterfly shape. Some might like more thin leaves. It, it's really up to you. I'm going to use a guideline just like I do when I paint my flower petals. So coming out here and my wing, <clears throat> excuse me, my wing is going to follow that guideline. And then my second one is a little bit shorter and going to come out something like that. Again, you can make these however you like. This is your little guy. This is your little critter, your little dragonfly. Make him how you want him to look. These are a little bit different. This one's got a little bit shorter and fatter. This one's a little bit rounder. Make them what resonates with you. Once you have this line, now all you have to do is go in and kind of draw around it. Now what I do tend to follow a bit is a lot of times these wings have more of a teardrop shape. So I'm going to go up and bring it in. I'm just going to cut off that little corner. So let me erase that like that. And then this one, the second wing, again, you can do your wings however you want, tend to be in an actual dragonfly touching. So I'm gonna come out about here and come back in like that. Now that's quite a wide little wing. You can make yours thinner like my first one. And then I'm going to turn my paper and create this next one. Like that, and then bring out this bottom one. Like that, okay? There you go. Now the body is going to, we are going to do it segmented. A lot of times I do make them like this and then go in and dab and create a segmented look. But this one, we're just going to go in and make it segmented. 
Let's go ahead, and this paper I'm working on, by the way, is Grumbacher. I actually really like it. I'm running out of paper, and I started digging through my supplies and found this, and I was like, wow, I actually kind of like this. This is in my supply list uh, that I put in my descriptions, um, and it's actually very reasonable. It's 140 pound, 300 GSM, cold press, and I, I rather like it. Uh, the Degato, I have those in my uh, supply list as well. Okay, let me just show you real quickly this fun little, um, for the wings, we're going to be doing a wet and wet. So let me just draw a wing here for you and I'll show you what we're going to be doing. So here is a wing. Okay, now just like my flowers at the base of the wing, I'm gonna leave a little bit of white space in there. Okay, go ahead and take your brush, dip it in your water, and just gently scrape it along the side of your water container, okay? And then let's go into just water. And I'm going to wet all of this, but leaving some spots that don't have water. Remember, when you go, we go into this with our paint, it's going to follow where the water is only. Let's go ahead and give that a try. I'm going to start with my beautiful Windsor Newton, Newton turquoise, and it's quite a light value, meaning more water than paint. And I'm going to just start dabbing in and letting it spread, just like that, okay? Because I find that my prettiest dragonflies always had this very transparent light type of look to them. Now I'm rinsing my brush, scraping it off, and going to pick up a little bit of yellow. And let me go in on here. There we go. Again, be careful with this cad yellow. It's very vibrant, okay? So just pick up a tiny bit water down and tap on the side to get rid of real excess water. If you feel you're not sure, just tap it on your paper towel. And then let's just go in and kind of tap in here and there. Now the key here is to let that spread, okay? This is just our practice here, by the way. Now, if you want to spread that around a little, you can rinse your brush, scrape it off, tap it, and then just kind of play with it. You wanna do this before it gets too dry or you'll get all those blooms, all right? So we get that fun look. Now I'm gonna go in with the Prussian blue, which is a dark blue, and just tap in here. Notice I'm leaving these little white spaces, okay? So we're gonna be doing something like that. Let's go ahead and go to our uh, paper here. There we go. I'm gonna put this to the side and dry off here, there we go. And let's go ahead and start painting our little dragonfly. Again, I'm going to get water on my brush, but it's not completely saturated and full. And then I'm just going to go in and wet this little wing here, like that. No puddles. And then I'm going to go in with my turquoise. And just dot that in, and the trick here is to let it spread on its own. Don't keep playing with it. Let it kind of spread on its own. And then let's go into the second wing here. So I'm going to wet 
that space. Now it's just, you're wetting it so it's shiny. There's no puddles and pooling. It's just shiny. And then go in with our turquoise, very light value, and lay it down and let it spread. Now see that blob, that puddling, that pooling? I don't want that, so I dab off my brush. Look at all that water that came off. And I can pick that up and move it around like that. Okay? I know a lot of you have asked me about that. Now, while this is wet, I'm going to go in with that little bit of yellow and just kind of play, just like that. Now, if you get that puddling and pooling, just wipe it off a bit. And the trick here is to let this sit, okay? Because it'll keep moving and the shape will change as the water finishes moving around and kind of drying. Now, what I would like to do is right here, while this is wet, I wanna go in and dab in with a little bit of a darker blue. So I'm gonna actually use my Prussian blue, which is very beautiful. It's a very rich, deep color. Little bit of water, not quite the tea consistency. And let's just tap in right here. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So that's going to spread. Now, while it's wet, I will tap off my brush a bit and let's just encourage it. Just kind of these little flicks. Now, the trick here is make sure you don't have a lot of water on your brush. You just want a damp very lightly damp brush. Otherwise, you're going to leave water drops in there and you're gonna get that blooming and puddles and all kinds of things. Look how beautiful this wing is, okay? Because I went with a first coat of just damp, shiny, and then I added in another few dabs of color, but nothing with too much water. Let's go ahead and move over to the other side. I'm wetting my brush. And that actually has a little bit of blue on it. That's okay. And let me get my new water cup. That's what happens when your water isn't clean and why it's so important to leave, to have clean water. So I've also left a few white spaces in there. Now I'm going in with that blue. Oops, I actually used that Prussian blue instead of my turquoise blue, that's okay. Now I've got some puddles, so I want to, oops, those are my new logo stickers, by the way, which was a surprise I was going to show you all and just pick up those puddles, okay? But not getting rid of the little white spaces. Now I'll go in with some yellow, so I'll rinse, wash my brush really well and rinse it, just barely tapping off the extra water and then going into my yellow here. And look at how intense that yellow is. So I want to, water that down so it is a very light value and then I'm going to go in here and just let that spread okay now the longer it sits there the longer it will spread let's go ahead and do this last I almost called it a petal because it's very similar last little wing here I'm going in with water, and actually because these are the same color, if you touch the upper uh, wing, that's perfectly fine. And now I'll go into my watered down turquoise, which I'm about out of. And 
go into that wing, okay? If I had any petals there, I would pick those up, but I don't really, I've got a little bit of sediment. Look at how beautiful that is. Now I'm going to just add a tiny bit of yellow, making sure I don't use too much on my brush or too much water and just dabbing in. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Now, just like I did here, I'm going to go into the darker Prussian blue and tap in. I'm using a darker value and just tap in like I do with my petals at the base, just like that, okay? I think that's so pretty. Now this one spread pretty well, so I'm not going to do more with that in the wings. I'm going to go in now and do my body, and I think I will do, let's see, what color should we do the body? We can use a Prussian blue, just love that color, and maybe it has some green in it. Okay, and I want it to be quite wet, and I'm going to be doing little dabs. Let's first do the body, just like that, okay? And the head, okay? And then for the body, we're going to dab so you get that segmented feel. Now, a lot of times I do this type of body and that's perfectly fine. If you just wanna use one brush stroke, that's fine. But I felt like a lot of you liked that segmented body look, so that's what I'm gonna do here. What I'm doing is just dabbing, leave a little bit of space, dab again. You could even do it like that. And then as I'm getting towards the bottom of the tail, I'm using lighter and lighter pressure. Now what I'd like to do is go in there with the tiniest bit of purple and tapping off so it's not too much and just add some color here. I think that's really pretty. Maybe here, like that. Isn't that beautiful? So easy, you guys. I mean, we're basically almost done right here. Then let's do, um, I think what I wanna do now is the little legs. Now I know, and me sometimes too, it's really hard to get that fine little uh, leg with the tip of your brush because our hands can be a little shaky. You can use a pen, just make sure that it's a waterproof pen. And you know, I've done the legs all different ways. Just have fun with this, have some whimsy. I'm going to bring them out and then another C curve and then like that. So this is a pin, which works perfectly fine. Straight line, C curve and the little paw there, or whatever you call that. Okay, so really, I mean, there you go. There's a beautiful dragonfly for you. Okay, you could always go in if you really prefer to have detail and you could add in, I don't think I have it here. Here it is, some little lines with the pen if you wanted. Um, I don't think it's necessary. I actually like this look. Um, and then you can also do here what I think is really fun. And I'm going to use my Princeton. Actually, I'm going to use, you wanna use a brush that holds a little bit more water, which doesn't look like I have here. So uh, you wanna wet your brush. And instead of like I say, always making sure your brush isn't too loaded and full of water. For what I'm gonna show you right now, you want it to have a lot of water in it. I'm going to stick with these pretty turquoisey blue colors. 
just go into that. And I'm actually going to make it just a little bit darker in value, but I wanna make sure I have quite a bit of water in there for this. Maybe even add a little more turquoise here. Okay, so I've got some dark value and quite a bit of water. Otherwise, this won't work. So really load your brush up with the water and the paint. And then you're just going to put your finger out. And you can do this various ways, but I like to tap. So hold your brush very lightly. Put your left finger out or your other finger out, and you're just going to tap. Look, just like that. Isn't that fun? And look how pretty that is. Now, many times I have liked, um, because I like whimsy, to put a couple tiny little eyes. You can do that with if you have some white gouache, or even if you have a white gel pen, which I don't have on my desk right here, but so create quite a lot of paint, very little water. And then just touch in and create two little eyes, being careful not to touch those splatters. Just like that. Okay, that's up to you. You don't have to have that. Um, that's kind of your choice. And there you go. What a cute little card that would be. Okay, um, so I think that's that's good. I, I really like this. It's easy, it's simple. You can do this in about 15 minutes and um, just have fun with it. Make the, uh, the wings, you know, whatever colors you want, make them the size you want that you have fun with. Add eyes or don't add eyes. I like this dabbing technique for the segmented body. And make sure when you go into these wing areas, you're only laying down a shiny, damp layer. There's not a lot of water. There's no puddling, okay? I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this. And... Um, Thank you so much. I just, I love our little community here and um, it's really fun. You guys are so great. I look forward to getting up every morning and sharing some type of tip or tutorial or something fun. And uh, yeah, this, it's, it's really great. Thanks. Thank you to everybody who is subscribing and following me and has such kind words and have fun with this. I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.